<clears throat> Hi Pisces, it's L here to do your quick love spread. It's a May love spread. It's got we got four cards here. Um, just to give you some insight in regards to what's going on for love in May. All right. So, um, the overall energy is the Knight of Cups. Very, very good energy. Uh, wanting to invest emotionally either you or someone else someone is offering their cup of love or their cup in regards to you know something about emotion and how they feel uh, wanting to invest uh, extending their um, their cup and, and wanting you to possibly do the same uh, we'll see what this is about this is someone who sometimes is just in love with love they're ready for love and you know I don't know let's see so the situation for the Pisces is the Queen of Wands right so um, Pisces you could be dealing with a Aries Sagittarius Leo but you may be dealing with somebody who's really intuitive really really magical they make things happen they might do a lot Like they have a lot on their plate. They they're always going, going, going. It's never a dull moment. It's never a stopping point. Well, I'm not to say it's never a stopping point, but they they've always have something going on. They're very charismatic, outgoing, funny, um, attractive. Um, could be an entrepreneur or someone who kind of does independent work. Um, man or woman this is a woman though someone who is um concerned about their life life's passion and desire what drives them they're always looking to further themselves you know there's always something new in regards to growing and growth um Pisces, this is how you feel. The Five of Cups. Wow, okay, you might miss this person. Uh, there might be some third party situation. I'll just name it all. And you can just, you know, press the button where it fits, right? Might be third party situation. You might can't get to someone who you're actually, absolutely or actually in love with. Um, there might be a situation where somebody's still grieving or they're in, in a grief the grief process um, there's someone hesitating before making a decision this is you Pisces so whatever however that suits you you may want someone who gets a lot of attention you may be frustrated at the at how love is going either with a particular person or just in in general um, there's significant change Pisces maybe in a long-standing relationship a marriage something traditional something that you you went and took oath and vow to um, but there's change in that relationship um, there's a grieving a grief process that's going on in that relationship Your person is the Ten of Swords. Your person could be feeling betrayed, backstabbed, backed into a corner, going through the ultimate ending. There is no going back from here. Your person could just be understanding that this is the end. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be, didn't have to be. Um... Your person is down for the count. It's just they're ready for the newness that comes after the ending. Your person is releasing a situation that just didn't pan out well for them. The outcome is the Queen of Cups. Okay. Um so after all of this energy the Pisces possibly 
is at a place where um, they are open, ready, and willing to receive and to give love. See, the Queen of Cups, the, the Queens are always concerned about their own element. You're concerned about love and giving of love and Pisces may have gone through some transformation and really realizing what's going on with them uh, or what was going on in a, a specific dynamic. Um, they had to release and then they got to a place of where they could actually um, give love. Give and receive love. Be open to the idea of emotional investment. There is either a Pisces or the other person you're dealing with is at a place of um, wanting to offer their cup they could be kind of emotional the one card that is here to clear for all the cards is strength Yeah. so there's some Pisces out there who needs to have strength in walking away in their own negative thoughts or circling thoughts they need to have strength enough to put themselves first and put the work in on self They need to have the strength to uh, communicate, to have the, the back and forth communication with a particular person or particular persons, maybe about the trouble or the jealousy in a relationship, or just to have those loving messages with whomever they are trying to get to. But there's a Pisces going through almost kind of like um, a completion here. Have strength in knowing that, you know... Um, you can get through this and that things will change the overall energy for this deck is the two of cups so some of you could be dealing with someone who you feel you have a mutually beneficial successful relationship with a soulmate type of relationship um, it's the yin and the yang for the both of you both of you concerned with what you bring to the table someone fire someone um, emotions okay so we're going to clarify over the other side about what these cards are about what the ten of swords is for your person the five of cups for yourself and also we're going to clarify what the strength card is all right so Pisces, if you feel like this reading resonated with you for you, go ahead and click that link below. That will get you over to the extended read. The extended read is only $2 to gain a bit of clarity about your situation. Um, Pisces, know that I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.